Hello and welcome back, fellow nerds. For today, we're continuing our quest to conquer the Warhammer 40k 10th edition indexes by reviewing the Death Guard. And the Death Guard are the big stinky guys. They are like rotting, bloated, stinky chaos marines. They they throw disease at you and stuff, and it, it, it's so strong that you die. You take one sniff and it kills you. And they're so disgusting. Look at this guy. He's got shit falling out of him. They're so gross that when you shoot at them and try to hit them with stuff, they don't die. So that's kind of their whole shtick here. It's kind of like fighting a ghoul from Fallout, but it's like glitched into power armor. Like hit, you know, hits you three times and you're dead or something crazy like that. Um, so that's that's kind of the Death Guard. But we're gonna be talking about them today. So I've gone through a th you know a couple of their data sheets. Most most of them actually. I've gone through most of them, but I don't remember any of them. So we're gonna go through them again together here. We're gonna have Nurgle's gifts blessed upon us together. So we're just going to get right into it, but before we do, be sure to like this video, subscribe to Theory Hammer, hit the bell icon, and leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think about the Death Guard. I know that they recently got a pretty good buff, so they've, they've kind of been coming up in the ranks. So let, me, let us know. Let us know how you've been playing against them. Let us know how you've been playing with them. Let us know what you think. And we're going to just start right off here with their army rules. This is Nurgle's Gift. It's an aura. If your army's faction is Death Guard, while an enemy unit is within contagion range of this unit, subtract one from the toughness characteristic of models in that enemy unit. Contagion range changes over the course of the battle as shown below. So the first battle round, it's 3 inches. Second battle round, it's 6. The third battle round, it's 9. And onward. So third battle round and onward. So that's what your army gets. You just have contagious, stinky guys. Their farts get bigger the longer they're around. And let's continue to their detachment rule. So, this is Spread the Sickness. During the Declare Battle's formation step, select one of the sicknesses below. Until the end of the battle, all units from your army with the Nurgle's Gift ability gain the selected sickness. So, this is something that you do pre-game. So, you look at your opponent's army, and you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to pick. So, you have a Skull Squim Blight. It's an aura. While an enemy unit is within contagion range of this unit, worsen the ballistic skill and weapon skill characteristic uh, of weapons equipped by that unit by one. So that's really good. You have Rejoint uh, Aug. Augie? Augur? Aug. Rattle Joint Aug. We got it. <laughs> While an enemy unit is within contagion range, worse than the save characteristic by one. So that's pretty insane. Uh, and then you have uh, Scabarius Soul Rot? All right, so when an enemy unit is within contagion range of this unit, worsen the leadership and objective control by one. That's also really good as well. Um, the ballistic skill, weapon skill, and the minus one to the save are both really, really good. The fact that you can choose this pre-game is real, real stupid. So that's really good. Now, if you control an objective marker at the end of your command phase, and a Death Guard unit from your army is within range of that objective marker, that objective marker is said to be infected and remains under your control even if you have no models within range of it until your opponent controls it at the start of any turn. In addition, while an objective marker is infected under your control, it has the Nurgle's Gift ability. Okay. That's really good. So it would also get the sickness, I would suppose, right? It has the Nurgle's Gift ability as if it were a unit in your army. So enemy units within contagion range have their characteristic modified. Yeah. So minus one toughness within range of objective markers as long as you control them. That's interesting. Okay. So, these are those stratagems. They have a Ferric Blight as the first one. It's battle tactics for one CP. It's in your shooting or fight phase. You select one Death Guard unit from your army that has not been selected to shoot or fight. Until the end of the phase, each time a model in your unit makes an attack, improve the armor ca penetration characteristic by one. If the target of the ranged attack is within contagion range of an infected objective marker you control, a critical wound is scored for that attack. If a critical wound is scored, then you improve the armor penetration by two. Interesting. Sanguinous Flux. So this is a battle tactics as well for one CP. This happens in your fight phase for one Death Guard unit that has not been selected to fight yet, and then until the end of the phase, weapons equipped by models in your unit have sustained its one. While your unit is within range of an infected, infected objective marker you control, you have sustained its two instead. So that's pretty awesome. Any Death Guard unit, give them sustained hits one or two. I could see that being very, very good. 
Disgustingly resilient. This is a 2 CP battle tactic stratagem in your fight phase just after an enemy selects its targets. One death guard unit from your army that was selected as the target of those attacks until the end of the phase. Each time an attack is allocated to a model in your unit, subtract one from the damage characteristic of that attack. Very good. Gift of Decay. This is Epic Deed for 1 CP. Your command phase, one death guard model from your army. Your model regains D3 lost wounds. If your model's unit is within range of an infected objective marker, it regains 3 instead. Okay. Cool. So, Boil Blight. This is a strategic ploy for 1 CP. This happens in your shooting phase. One Death Guard unit from your army and one enemy unit within contagion range of that unit until the end of the phase. Each time a weapon equipped by Death Guard model from your army targets the enemy unit, it has heavy and ignores cover. Hmm. And then Cloud of Flies, so strategic ploy, 1 CP. This happens in your opponent's shooting phase just after they select its targets. You select a Death Guard unit from your, ability, uh, from your army. That was the target of those attacks, and you gain the stealth ability. So that's a lot worse than it used to be. I'm surprised it's not like if you're in contagion range, you gain something else. Uh, so that's, that's their strats. Okay. I feel like this was out of order because the enhancements are next. Weren't the enhancements first in a lot of these? Hmm. Am I getting confused? Am I an old man? Living Plague is the first enhancement. Death Guard model only. Add three inches to the range of the bearer's, uh, bearer's abilities, including Nurgle's Gift. So that can go up to 12 inches from him. It's probably pretty good on, like, a Demon Prince or something. The Droning. This is an aura. Death Guard model only. While, while an enemy unit is within contagion range of the bearer, each time that unit fails a battle shock test on a D6... Roll a d6 on a 2 to 5. You suffer one mortal wound on a 6. You suffer d3. It's kind of shit. Don't take that one. Death Guard model. Only for deadly pathogen. Add one to the strength and attacks characteristic of the bear's melee weapons. While the bear is in range of an infected objective marker, add 2 to the strength and attack characteristic instead. Okay. Very simple. Shamble Rot. Each time the bear's unit is selected as a target of an enemy charge until the end of the phase, subtract 2 from the charge roll made for that unit. Okay. That's what you got for your enhancements. I do like the add three inches to the auras. So I'll have to keep that in mind if we're looking at something. Add one to auras. Or add three, not one. Oh no, look how much space that takes up. Garbage. Garbage, dude. Okay, next. Nice little picture there that looks like garbage. Death Guard Demon Prince is the first thing. So he has a Plague Spewer. Okay, so let's go over his, his data sheet here. He moves seven. He's toughness 11, so he's actually pretty tough with a 2-up save, a 4-up invuln, 10 wounds, a leadership 6, and OC of 3. So he does have a Plague Spewer, and he's got Hellforged weapons for combat. His Plague Spewer is anti-infantry 2+, ignores cover torrent, so it's a heavy flamer. Literally a heavy flamer that's anti-infantry 2+. So 12-inch range, D6 shots, strength 5, AP 1, damage 1. In melee, he's got a Hellforged weapon, which is either strike or sweep. If you strike with it, it's 6 attacks, hitting on 2s, strength 8, AP 2, and 3 damage flat. Or it's 14 attacks, hitting on 2s, strength 6, AP 0, damage 1. They could have made that AP 1, and it wouldn't have been OP. Uh, Deadly Demise, D3. Nurgle's Gift, so that's just his army rule. And then you have Grandfather's Blessing. This is Aura and Psychic. While a friendly Death Guard infantry unit is within Contagion range of this model... Models in that unit have feeling of pain 6 plus. Hmm. So if you buff his thing up, it'll be like a 9 inch range instead of a 6 inch range. Up, well, it'll change. So it'll start at 6, then it'll go to 9, then it'll go to 12. So that'll be kind of interesting. Give up a 6 up invuln. So, Mr. Demon Prince, boy, he has no war gear options. He comes with his Plague Spewer and his Hellforged weapons. He's a monster character, chaos, Nurgle, psyker, demon. Alright. You got your demon prince with wings next. He moves 11, but he's only T10, so toughness 10. 2 up save, 10 wounds, leadership 6, OC 3, 4 up invulnerable save. He also has that plague spewer, so it's a heavy flamer with anti infantry 2. Plus. He's got hellforged weapons, they're the exact same as the other demon prince. Uh, he has deadly demise D3 and deep strike. Nurgle's gift. Warp Horror. Each time this model ends a charge move, select one enemy unit with an engagement range, take a battle shock test. Garbage. 
Okay, Devastating Assault. Each time this model ends a charge move until the end of the turn, its Hellforged weapons have the Devastating Wounds ability. That's okay, but not super duper crazy good uh, on just himself. So you're minus one toughness against these things. Uh, maybe minus one AP. Eh, I don't know. It's That's not bad. It's fine. The Battleshock thing is garbage. Complete shit. Don't take this shit. He's got a Plague Spear and a Hellforged Sword. He's got no War Gear options. He's a monster, character, fly, chaos, Nurgle, Psyker, demon. Then you got Typhus. Hopefully he's kind of interesting. I forget what he does. So he moves 5. He's toughness 6 with a 2-up save and 6 wounds. He's leadership 6 and OC 1. Okay. Mastercrafted Man Reaper with lethal hits. That's nice to have. 5 attacks. Hits on 2s, as you would expect for a named character. Strength 9, AP 2, and a flat 3 damage. That's his uh, strike profile. If he sweeps with it, it's 10 attacks, hitting on 2. Strength 6, AP 1, and damage 1. He's got Deep Strike, he's got Leader, he's got Nurgle's Gift. That he's got the Destroyer Hive. While this model is leading a unit, each time a melee attack targets that unit, subtract 1 from the hit roll. Okay, that's kind of rare to see, is minus 1 to hit. Is the Eater Plague. In your shooting phase, you can select one enemy unit within 18 inches invisible to this Psyker and roll 1d6. On a 1, the Psyker's unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. On a 2 to 5, that enemy unit suffers d6 mortal wounds. On a 6, the enemy unit suffers d6 plus 3 mortal wounds. What? Pretty cool. 4 up involved. No war gear there. He just comes with his Man Reaper. He can be attached to Terminators and Pox Walkers. He's Infantry, Character, Epic Hero, Chaos, Nurgle, and Psyker, and Terminator. So then you have your Chaos Lord next, your Death Guard Chaos Lord. He moves 5, he's got Toughness of 5 with a save of 3, 5 wounds, Leadership 6, OC of 1. He's got a Combi Weapon, it's Anti-Infantry 4 up and Devastating Wounds, Rapid Fire 1. 24 inch range, only 1 shot, everything he has hits on 2s except for 1 Close Combat Weapon. So, everything hits on 2s. Strength 4, AP 0, damage 1. So, within 12, you're getting 2 shots. Anti-infantry 4 up and death wounds. So, whatever. It's okay. Plague Bolt Pistol. Lethal Hits. Pistol. It's a Bolt Pistol. That's Lethal Hits. Plague Combi Bolter. Lethal Hits. Rapid Fire 2. 24 inch range. 2 shots. Strength 4, AP 0, 1 damage. Plasma Pistol. That's a, you know what a Plasma Pistol is, I hope. It's either Strength 7, AP 2 and 1 damage. Or Strength 8, AP 3 and 2 damage. 12 inch range with one shot, and it's hazardous if you do the overcharge profile. In melee, he's got a Stardust Chain Sword as an option, 7 attacks hitting on 2, strength 4, AP 1, damage 1. His Plague Fist is lethal hits, 5 attacks hitting on 3s, strength 8, AP 2, 2 damage. Then you have your Plague Encrusted Exalted Weapon, lethal hits, 6 attacks, strength 5, AP 1, damage 1. And then Twin Lightning Claws, Twin Linked, 7 attacks. Strength 5, AP 2, damage 1, hitting on 2s. He's got Leader, he's got Nurgle's Gift, he's got Chaos Lord. While he's leading the unit, each time it makes an attack, reroll hit roll of 1. So the whole unit rerolls hit rolls 1. Desecration cla Conduit? Desiccation Conduit, I think is how you say that. Ah, uh, god damn it. While an enemy unit is within contagion range of this model, at the end of the turn, roll 1d6. On a 4-up, the enemy unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. Okay. So he's kind of mid. So he's got a Plague Bolt Pistol and then a Stardew's Chain Sword. Uh, he can be attached to Plague Marines. This model's Plague Bolt Pistol can be replaced with one of the following. Either a Combi Weapon, Plague Combi Bolter, Plague Fist, Plague Encrusted Exalted Weapon, or a Plasma Pistol. And then his Chain Sword can be replaced with either a Plague Fist or a Plague Encrusted Exalted Weapon. This model's Plague Bolt Pistol can be replaced with a Combi Weapon, Combi Bolter, Plague Fist, Plague Encrusted Exalted Weapon, Plasma Pistol... And then his chain sword can be replaced with plague fist and plague encrusted exalted weapon. Okay, so this model's plague bolt pistol and his starter chain sword can be replaced with the lightning claws. Gotcha. Infantry character chaos nurgle grenades. Great. So he can throw grenades at you. Do the boom booms. Then you have the death guard chaos lord. He's in terminator armor this time. He moves four inches. He's real fast. God, he's so slow. He's toughened 6 with a 2-up save and 6 wounds, and he's leadership 6 and 1 OC. He's got a combi weapon that's anti-infantry 4-up and devastating wounds with rapid fire 1. So 24-inch range, 1 shot. Hits on 3s with this. 
Strength 4, AP 0, Damage 1. And then Plague Combi Bolter, Lethal Hits, Rapid Fire 2. 24-inch uh, range with 2 shots, hits on 2s. Strength 4, AP 0, 1 damage. So, the anti-infantry weapon is probably a little better there. Just in general. Because you're... It's better with Devastating Wounds, I think. Probably. This, yeah. Yeah, alright. So, melee weapons. Got Chain Fist. That's anti-vehicle 3+. plus, 5 attacks, strength... 8 AP 2, 2 damage, hitting on 3s. The rest of these hit on 2s. Got Plague Fist, lethal hits. 5 attacks, strength 8 AP 2, 2 damage. Plague Encrusted Exalted Weapon, lethal hits, 6 attacks. Strength 5 AP 2, and 1 damage. And then Lightning Claws, Twin Linked. 7 attacks, strength 5 AP 2, and 1 damage. He has Deep Strike, Leader, and Nurgle's Gift. He's a Chaos Lord. While he's leading a unit, each time a model in the unit makes an attack, reroll, hit roll of 1. And... Desiccation Conduit, same deal. While an enemy unit is within contagion range of this model, at the end of the turn, roll a d6 on a 4+, plus. that enemy unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. Or Pinbone there. Alright, so he has a Plague Combi Bolter, Plague Encrusted Exalted Weapon. He can exchange stuff for a Combi Bolter, Combi Weapon in this case, or a Plague Encrusted Exalted Weapon. His Plague Encrusted Exalted Weapon can be replaced with a Plague Fist or a Chain Fist, and then he can replace both with Lightning Claws. He can be attached to Terminator Squads, Blight Lords, and Death Shroud. He's Infantry Character, Chaos, Nurgle, Terminator. Alright. Lord of Virulence. He also moves 4 with Toughness 6, 2-up saves, 6 wounds, Leadership 6, and OC of 1. He's got a Twin Plague Spewer, so Anti-Infantry 2-up ignores cover, uh, Tort, and Twin Linked. It's just a Heavy Flamer with Anti-Infantry 2+, and then that Heavy Plague Fist. Lethal Hits. Okay. 5 Attacks. Weapon Skill 3. Hits uh, hits on 3s there. Strength 8, AP 2, 2 damage. So it's a Power Fist. He has Deep Strike and Leader. And then he has Master of Destruction. While he's leading a unit, you, each time they make a ranged attack, you can reroll the Wound Roll. That's pretty good. And then Blight Bombardment. Each time a friendly Death Guard model makes an attack with a Blast Weapon that targets a unit that is visible to this model, add one to the Hit Roll. And the attack has ignores cover. This guy's awesome. Four up invuln. What can you, what can you do? So blight lords and death shroud. Okay, so we'll have to keep him in mind for blight lords. He's got the twin plague spear and his heavy plague fist. He doesn't have any war gear options. He's just infantry character chaos nurgle. He's a terminator. Okay, lord of contagion. Same exact profile there. He's got a plague blade. It's got uh, two different profiles. It's lethal hits on both. It's either 5 attacks, hits on 2s on both. It's 5 attacks, strength 8, AP 2, 3 damage flat. Or 10 attacks, strength 5, AP 0, 1 damage with Deep Strike and Leader. He's got Nurgle's Gift, Vector of Disease while he's leading a unit. Each time they make a melee attack, you can reroll the hit roll. And then Abundance of Sickness in the fight phase. Each time this model loses a wound, roll a d6 on a 4+. plus. The closest enemy unit with an engagement range of this model suffers one mortal wound. Okay, so he's, he's complete fucking shit. He has no worker options, he's got his Plague Blade, he can be attached to Terminators. He's an infantry character, Chaos, Nurgle, Terminator, with grenades. So he does have grenades. It's one, one little thing. Death Guard Sorcerer in Terminator armor. He's got the same exact profile, except he only has five wounds. His combi weapon, which is the devastating wound anti-infantry thing, it only hits on fours, but it's otherwise the same. He has Curse of the Leper. This is a psychic power that has two different profiles. It's hazardous if you overcharge it. So, uh, 24 inch range on both. The unovercharged is D6 shots, strength 6, AP 1, damage 1. The overcharged is 2D6 shots, strength 6, AP 2, damage 1. And then Plague Combi Bolter. It's going to be a lethal hits, rapid fire 2. It's a, it's a storm bolter that's got lethal hits. That's all it is. Strength 4, AP 0, 1 damage on that. For combat, most things are hitting on 3s, but the chain fist here is hitting on 4s. Anti-vehicle 3 up with 3 attacks, strength 8, AP 2, and damage 2. Force weapon, psychic, 4 attacks on 3, strength 6, AP 1, damage D3. Plague fist, lethal hits, 3 attacks hitting on 3, strength 8, AP 2, 2 damage. Uh, plague encrusted, exalted weapon, that's lethal hits, 4 attacks, strength 5, AP 2, damage 1. And then twin lightning claws, 5 attacks, strength 5, AP 2, and damage 1. With twin linked, of course. So, rerolling wounds. Deep strike, leader. He has a putrescent vitality. 
At the start of the fight phase, you can roll a d6. On a 1, the, psych the Psyker's unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. On a 2+, plus, until the end of the phase, each time an attack is allocated to a model in the Psyker's unit, subtract one from the damage characteristic. That's really good. Pestilent Familiar, once per battle after selecting a target for the psychic weapons equipped by this model until the end of the phase, improve the strength and damage characteristic by 2. What? That seems good. <laughs> that seems real good. He's got a 4-pin vuln. He's got a 4-pin vuln, and he has Curse of the Leper, Plague Bolter, and a, a Force Weapon. He can be attached to Terminator's. His bolter can be replaced with either a combi weapon or a plague encrusted exalted weapon. Then his force weapon can either be a chain fist, plague fist, or a plague encrusted exalted weapon. And then you can replace both for those lightning claws. He's an infantry character, psyker, chaos, nurgle terminator. Malignant plague caster. Moves 5, toughness 5, 3 up save, and 4 wounds. Leadership 6, and OC of 1. So he's got a Plague Bolt Pistol to Lethal Hits Bolter Pistol, and then Plague Wind. So Witch Fire, Psychic, it's Torrent, so it's auto-hitting. 12-inch range, D6 shots, Strength 4, AP 1, Damage D3. It's pretty good. Uh, Plague Wind Focused, so this is Hazardous if you use this, but it's the same, so it's Psychic and Torrent. 12-inch range, D6 plus 3 shots, Strength 6, AP 2, and D3 damage. Pretty nice. For combat, he's got a Corrupted Staff, Lethal Hits, and Psychic. Four attacks, hitting on threes. Strength 6, AP 1, D3 damage. He then has Leader and Nurgle's Gift. So, Gift of Contagion. In your shooting phase, you can select one enemy unit within 18 inches invisible to the Psyker and roll 1d6 on a 1. The Psyker's unit suffers D3 mortal wounds on a 2+, plus until the start of your next shooting phase, each time a model in the enemy unit makes an attack, subtract one from the one, from the wound roll. Alright, so you pick an enemy unit with an 18, it subtracts one from wound in melee. Pretty good. Pestilent Fallout is the next one here. It's in your shooting phase after this model is shot. If one or more of those attacks made with its plague wind scored a wound against an enemy infantry, until the start of your next turn, they subtract two from their move. Uh, advanced and charge rolls. It's really good. So plague casters are great. They can probably only join plague marines. Yep Plague bolt pistol plague wind corrupted staff is what they got. They got no war gear Their infantry character chaos Nurgle and psychers Got plague marines next so plague marines are five inch move toughness five three up save two wounds leadership six and OC of two They can take a bunch of different weapons here so, Blight Launcher, Lethal Hits, 24 inch range, 2 shots, Strength 6, AP 1, and Damage 2. Everything is hitting on 3s, except for a Bolt Pistol for some reason. So, Melta Gun, Melta 2, 12 inch range, 1 shot, Strength 9, AP 4, and Damage D6. So, that's going to be plus 2 damage within 6 inches because of that Melta 2. So, D6 plus 2 damage. Plague Belcher, it's anti-infantry 4+, ignores cover and torrent, 12-inch range, D6 shots, strength 4, AP 0, 1 damage. Plague Bolt Pistol, lethal hits and pistol, 12-inch range, 1 shot, hitting on 2s for some reason. Strength 4, AP 0, 1 damage. Plague Bolt Gun, lethal hits, 24-inch range, 2 shots, hitting on 3s, strength 4, AP 0, 1 damage. Plague Spewer, anti-infantry 2+, Ignores cover and torrent, it's the uh, heavy flamer, so 12 inch range, d6 shot, strength 5, AP 1, damage 1. Then you got your plasma gun, standard or overcharged? So standard, rapid fire 1 on both, 24 inch range, just 1 shot, strength 7, AP 2, and damage 1, or strength 8, AP 3, and damage 2 with hazardous. Then your plasma pistol, exactly the same strength and everything. Just the range is 12, and it does not have rapid fire. It's just a pistol with one shot, but it overcharges the same. Bubonic weapons, so these are your combat. So lethal hits, four attacks. Strength five, AP two, and damage one. Hitting on threes. Heavy plague weapon, that's lethal hits. Three attacks. Strength eight, AP two, two damage. Hitting on fours. And then plague knives, lethal hits, three attacks. Strength four, AP zero, one damage. Uh, hitting on threes. Nurgle's Gift and Remorseless. While this unit is within range of an objective marker you control, each time you take a Battle Shock test, add one to the test. Okay. Great. 
They come in units of 5 to 10. They all have a plague bolt gun and plague knives. The plague champion's bolter can be replaced with either a plague bolt pistol, plasma gun, or a plasma pistol. So you give him a plasma gun. Why wouldn't you give him a plasma gun? The plague champion's plague knives can be replaced with one of the following. Bubonic weapon, heavy bubonic weapon, heavy plague weapon, so power fist. For every five models in the unit, one Plague Marine's Plague Bolt Gun can be replaced with a Blight Launcher. For every five models in the unit, one Plague Marine's Plague Bolt Gun can be replaced with a Plague Spewer. For every five models in the unit, one Plague Marine's Plague Bolt Gun can be replaced with one of the following. A Melted Gun, a Plague Belcher, or a Plasma Gun. For every five models in the unit, up to two Plague Marines can have their Bolt Gun replaced with one Bubonic Weapon. And then for every, two, or for every five in the unit, two dudes can have their Bolt Gun replaced with one Heavy Plague Weapon. Alright, so they are Infantry Chaos, Nurgle, Grenades, and then Battle Line, of course. Got your Cultists here. They move 6, their Toughness 3 with a 6-up save, 1 wound, Leadership 7, OC of 1. Cultist Firearm, that's a 24-inch range, 1 shot, BS4, Strength 3, AP 0, Damage 1. They have Flamers they can take, that's Ignores Cover Torrent, 12-inch range, D6 shots, Strength 4, AP 0, Damage 1. Grenade Launcher, two profiles, frag or crack. It's got Blast on the frag, 24 inch range on both. D3 shots, Strength 4, AP 0, damage 1 on frag. Strength 9, AP 2, damage 1 on the crack with one shot. The Heavy Stubber is Rapid Fire 3, that's 36 inches. Uh, three attacks, hitting on fives though. Strength 4, AP 0, damage 1. Brutal Assault Weapon, it's going to be melee, two attacks. Weapon skill 4, strength 3, is AP 0, 1 damage, and they have scout 6 inches, so that's pretty good. Nurgle's gift, so they actually can give off the contagion aura. And then their infantry, chaos, and Nurgle, and their options are that. They come with kilt as firearms and assault weapons, units of 10 to 20. For every 10 guys in the unit, one death guard cult as firearm can be replaced with a flamer. For every 10 guys, you can replace a firearm with a heavy stubber, and then for... Every 10, you can replace one with a grenade launcher. So that's what they do. That's what you got. Then you got the poxies. You got the epoxies. Their movement four. Toughness four. Leadership, uh, no. Their movement four. Their toughness of four. Save of seven plus. One wound. Leadership eight. OC of one. Improvised weapon. Lethal hit. Two, sh two attacks. A weapon skill five. Strength three. AP 0 and damage 1. Lethal hits, I guess, is what you're looking for there. Feel no pain 5 up with Nurgle's Gift, Curse of the Walking Pox. Each time a model in this unit makes an attack that destroys an enemy model, excluding a monster or vehicle, you can return one destroyed Poxwalker model to the unit. And then while Typhus is leading the unit, enemy models destroyed as a result of Typhus's The Eater Plague ability count as enemy models destroyed by an attack made by this model's unit for the purposes of this ability. Pretty cool. So no war gear, they just come in units of 10 to 20 with their improvised weapons, their infantry, chaos, nurgle, and pox walkers. They're not going to be throwing any grenades at you. They're just going to be walking up, soaking up damage, taking up space, OC1. That's what they get. Noxious Blightbringer, he moves 5, toughness 5, with a 3-up save, 4 wounds, leadership 6, and OC1. He's got a plasma pistol, looks like his only thing. Yep, so he's just got a plasma pistol there. And his Cursed Plague Bell. His Plasma Pistol is the same as every other Plasma Pistol. 12 inch range, 1 shot. Strength 7, AP 2, and damage 1. Or Strength 8, AP 3, and damage 2. And Hazardous. His uh, Plague Bell in combat with lethal hits. 5 attacks. Strength 4, AP 0. Damage 2. He's a leader. He can lead people. He's got that Nurgle's Gift. He's a sickening vitality man. While this model's leading a unit, you can reroll advance and charge rolls. Pretty cool. And then the bell tolls. This is an aura. While an enemy unit is within contagion range of this model each time a battle shocked or battle shock or leadership test is taken for that unit, subtract two from the test. Interesting. That's about it. Subtracting two is pretty interesting. Your leadership six. Now your leadership eight. It's kind of bad. So Noxious Blightbringer is what the guy is. He comes with a plasma pistol on his bell. He can be attached to plague marines with no war gear options. Although he can be attached to them, even if a different leader has been attached, but you can't attach two of them to the same units. You can't have two Noxious Blightbringers in the same squad. He's an infantry character, Chaos, Nurgle. Alright, that's it. 
Foul Blight Spawn. He's foul. He's a spawn. He's blightful. He's coming in hot. He moves five. He's toughness five. He's got a three up save, four wounds, leadership six, and OC one. He has the plague sprayer. Anti infantry two plus ignores cover and torrent. 12 inch range, d6 shots, strength 7, AP 2, and 2 damage. Pretty awesome. Close combat weapon, 4 attacks, hitting on 3s, strength 4, AP 0, 1 damage. He leads. He's Nurgle's gift ability. That's his faction, his Nurgle's gift. Interesting. Putrefying Stink. While this model is leading a unit, they have fights first. Infantry, character, chaos, Nurgle, grenades. Okay. Okay, he's got a Plague Sprayer and a close combat weapon. He can be attached to just Plague Marines. It can be done so even if somebody else is already attached, as long as it's not already a Foul Blight Spawn. Yeah. Alright, then you have the Biologist Putrefier. I'm pretty sure this is the Grenade Man. Moves 5, Toughness 5, 3-up save, 4 wounds, Leadership 6, and OC of 1. He's got Hyper Blight Grenades. They're Assault, Blast, Lethal Hits. 12-inch range, D6 shot, strength 5, AP 1, and damage 2. Pretty good. Cool. Injector pistol, uh, one shot at 3 inches <laughs> with a pistol. Strength 4, AP 1, damage 3. Sure. Plague knives, lethal hits. 4 attacks, strength 4, AP 0, damage 1. Deadly demise 1. <laughs> he explodes. Leader. Nurgle's Gift, and then Foul Infusion. While this model is leading a unit, weapons equipped by models in that unit have lethal hits. Okay. In addition, each time a model in that unit makes an attack, a critical hit is scored on an unmodified hit roll of 5 up. Cool. Explosive Maladies. So once per battle in your shooting phase, you can target this model with the grenade stratagem for 0 CP, and you can do so even if you've already targeted a different unit with that stratagem this phase. Okay. Cool. So he's got no war gear. He just comes with grenades and his stuff and his injector pistol, his knives. He can be attached to plague marines. He's infantry character chaos Nurgle grenades. And then you got the Tallyman banana. He's going to move five. He is toughness five. He's got a three up save and four wounds, leadership six and OC one. So the same exact profile as all the other characters that we've seen just for now. Except for like Typhus and you know those ones. Infected Plasma Pistol. It's a pistol with sustained hits D3. Interesting. It has hazardous, just like you'd expect, but otherwise it's the same. So Strength 7, AP 2, Damage 1. Strength 8, AP 3, Damage 2 if you overcharge. Combat, he's got 4 attacks on 3s. It's just a Strength 4, AP 0, 1 damage. Leads things, Nurgle's Gift, Malicious Calculations. While he's leading a unit, add 1 to the hit roll. Anytime they make any kind of attack. So not just ranged. Or melee, but both. And then the sevenfold chant in your command phase. This model is on the battlefield. Roll 2d6 on a 7 plus. You gain 1 CP. Alright, Tallyman Banana comes with nothing. He just comes with this infected plasma pistol, close combat weapon, and has no war gear options. He can be attached to Plague Marines, and you can do it even if somebody else is already attached. Infantry character Chaos Nurgle. No grenades on that guy. Surgeon of the Plague. He moves 5, he's toughness 5, 3 up save, 4 wounds, same exact profile, leadership 6, OC1. So, Plague Bolt Pistol, Lethal Hits Pistol, okay, same exact thing we've seen before, and then Bail Sword, I don't think we've seen this yet. Lethal Hits, 4 attacks on 3s, strength 5, AP 2, damage 2. He leads things, Nurgle's Gift, and then Tainted Narcethium. While he's leading a unit, in your command phase you can return 1 destroyed bodyguard to the unit. Then Disease Healing, at the end of your movement phase you can select 1 character... Death Guard Infantry character, within 3 inches of this model, regains up to 3 lost wounds. He can only be selected once per turn, just auto regains 3 lost wounds. Interesting. No war gear, he just comes with a Plague, Bolt Pistol, and Bail Sword. Can be attached to Plague Marines, even if something has already been attached to them, except for him. He's an Infantry character, Chaos. Nurgle. Then you got Blight Lords. So these are some big bad killy things, they just move really slow. They move 4. Their toughness is 6, their save is 2+, plus. their wounds are 3, their save, or their leadership is 6, and their OC is 1. They can take Blight Launchers, so we saw that on the regular Plague Marines. That's lethal hits, 24 inch range, 2 shots, hitting on 3s. Strength 6, AP 1, damage 2. The combi weapons hit on 4s, their anti-infantry 4+, plus devastating wounds. Rapid fire, so you're getting 2 shots at 12 inches, because it's 24 normally. Strength 4, AP 0, 1 damage. Plague Combi Bolter, it's lethal hit rapid fire 2, we've seen those like 500 times now. 
Plague Spear, we've seen that like five times now. Uh, Reaper Auto Cannon, that's got devastating wounds and sustained hits one. 36 inch range with four shots, strength seven, AP one, damage one. Bubonic Plague for melee weapons, so Bubonic Blade, I don't know why I said Plague, probably because I'm in, pl I've just been seeing all the Plague green stuff and said Plague like 20 fucking times. Bubonic Blade is lethal hits, four attacks, strength five, AP two, and damage one. I like lethal hits, it's not bad. Flail of Corruption, lethal hits as well. Six attacks, strength five, AP one, damage two, and they both hit on threes. These guys have Deep Strike, they have Blistering Fusillade. Each time a model in this unit makes a ranged attack, if the target's the closest enemy unit, reroll a wound roll of one. Pretty good on lethal hits. They have a four-up invuln. You can take them in units of uh, five to ten. They all come with their combi bolters and bubonic blades. For every five models in the unit, up to three. The up to three combi bolters can be replaced with combi weapons. And then one Blightlord Terminator's combi bolter can be replaced with a Reaper autocannon. One combi bolter can be a plague spewer. One blight lord terminator's combi bolter and bubonic plague. B bubonic blade can be replaced with one flail of corruption. Jesus Christ. Okay, their infantry character Nurgle Terminator. No grenades on them. Then you have the Death Stroud. They're big fatties. They move four, toughness six, two up save, three wounds, leadership six, and OC one with a four up invuln. So they have the same exact profile as the Blightlord Terminators in terms of defense and movement. They have a Plague Spurt Gauntlet, Anti-Infantry 4+, Ignores Cover, Torrent Pistol. Okay, 12 inch range, D6 shots, Strength 3, AP 0, Damage 1. And then Man Reapers, they have Lethal Hits, 4 attacks, Hitting on 2s, Strength 8, AP 2, and Damage 2. Or, 6 attacks, Hitting on 2s, Strength 5, AP 0, Damage 1. I don't know why you would ever do that. Uh, Deep Strike, Nurgle's Gift, Silent Bodyguard. While a character is leading this unit, each time an attack targets this unit, if the strength is higher than their toughness, subtract one from the wound roll. Okay. So they all have Plague Spurt Gauntlets and Man Reapers. You take them in units of 3 to 6, and the champion can be a, bleh, equipped with an additional Plague Spurt Gauntlet. They are Infantry, Chaos, and Nurgle Terminators. Hellbrute Boy, Death Guard Hellbrute. He's special. He's got that Death Guard tag. He moves 6, he's toughness 9 with a 2-up save, 8 wounds, leadership 6, and OC of 3. They can take Heavy Flamers, which are Ignores Cover Torrent, 12-inch range, D6 shot, strength 5, AP 1, damage 1. Hellbrute Plasma Cannons, those are Blast and Hazardous. They are 36-inch range, D3 shots, everything hits on 3s. This is strength 8, AP 3, and flat 3 damage, so pretty good. Missile Launcher... That's frag or crack. It's going to be a blast weapon if it's a frag shot. 48 inch range on both. D6 shots on the frag. And that's strength 4, AP 0. And damage 1. On the crack, you're just getting one shot. Strength 9, AP 2, damage D6. You have options for a multi melta. That's melta 2. 18 inch range, 2 shots. Strength 9, AP 4, damage D6. Then you have your plague combi bolter. That's lethal hits, rapid fire 2, as we know. Twin Auto Cannon, Twin Linked Auto Cannon, so 48 inch range, 2 shots, Strength 9, AP 1, damage 3 flat, with rerolls wounds, not bad. Twin Linked Laz Cannon, single shot, but rerolls wounds, 48 inch range, Strength 12, AP 3, damage D6 plus 1, and then a Twin Plague Heavy Bolter, Lethal Hits, Sustained Hits, 1, and Twin Linked, 36 inch range with 3 shots, Strength 5, AP 1, damage 2. For combat, it has a close combat weapon with 5 attacks, hitting on 3, strength 6, AP 0, damage 1. If you actually give it a close combat weapon, it can be a Hellbrute Fist, which is 5 attacks, hitting on 3s, at strength 12, AP 2, and damage 3 flat. Or you can take the Hammer, that's going to be 5 attacks, hitting on 4s, strength 14, AP 3, and damage D6, plus 1. And then your Power Scourge, it's going to be 8 attacks, hitting on 3s, strength 7, AP 1, damage 2. He has Deadly Demise 1, Nurgle's Gift, and then Infused with Blessing of Nurgle. Each time this model is selected to shoot or fight, after it is finished making its attack, select one enemy unit that was hit by one of those attacks until the start of your next turn. That enemy unit is considered to be within contagion range of this model. That's insane. Definitely put one of these in your list, because you can make stuff minus 1 AP, or minus 1 save, I mean. Uh, minus, yeah, put this in your list. Put three of them in your list, probably. Probably two. 
but that's great. In ranged impact, each time this model ends a charge move, select one enemy unit with engagement range, roll 1d6, 2 plus, you suffer d3 mortal wounds. And then if you have two, uh, two fists, you are twin linked. He has a multi melta and a missile launcher to start with, and his multi melta can be replaced with one of the following either a plasma cannon, auto cannon, las cannon, heavy bolter, or a fist. His missile launcher can be replaced with a fist, a hammer, a power scourge, and his both can, yeah. For each Helbert fist, it can be equipped with either a combi bolter or a heavy flamer. Okay. Great. Vehicle Walker, Chaos, Nurgle, Hellbrute. So do you just, like, give it two fists and just have two bolters to have more shots that way? I guess you could have more shots if you took... Yeah, never mind. Okay, so it's a Vehicle Walker, Chaos, Nurgle, Hellbrute. Then you have the Chaos Spawn. They move eight, their toughness five, four up save, uh, four wounds. Leadership seven, and OC of one. They have a five up feel no pain, but no invuln. Hideous Mutations, it's D6 plus 2 attacks. Weapon Skill 4, Strength 5, AP 1, Damage 1. And they have Beast Chaos, and they just don't get any options. They just come with their Hideous Mutations. That's what they are. Two dudes in a unit. Look at it. It's adorable. It's a crab demon thing, and it's great. <laughs> Mephitic Plight Haulers. They move 10. Toughness 9 with a 3-up save and 10 wounds. Uh, leadership 6 and OC 3 with a 5-up invulnerable save. Okay. Bile Spurt is lethal hits. 12-inch range with 3 shots. Strength 5, AP 0, damage 1. And then Missile Launchers and Multi Meltas. So your Missile Launcher is D6 shots on the frag. Strength 4, AP 0, 1 damage. Or just 1 shot on the crack at Strength 9, AP 2, and damage D6. They both shoot 48 inches. The frag has Blast. And then you have your Multi Melta for 2 shots. 18-inch range... Uh, strength on AP4, damage D6, so 9 inches away, you are getting plus 2 damage with the Melta 2. For combat, they have Gnashing Maw, lethal hits, 4 attack, strength 6, AP1, damage 1, hitting on 3s. They have Deadly Demise 1, they have Nurgle's Gift, they have Tank Hunters. Each time this model makes a ranged attack, targets a vehicle unit, you add 1 to the wound roll. Great. Just a good unit there, depending on the points. No war gear options, though. They just have a missile launcher, a multi melta, their gnashing maul, and a bile spurt. So, three guns. Kind of a shitty combat weapon, but they're not meant to, for combat, so they're interesting. Vehicle, chaos, nurgle, demon, smoke. Okay. Mr. Bloat Drone up here next, floating on in. He is a move of 10, toughness 9, 3 up save, 10 wounds. Leadership 6, and OC of 3. He's got a, ble uh, a heavy blight launcher, 36 inch range with lethal hits, 6 shots, strength 8, AP 2, damage 2, it's okay. Plague Spitter, anti-infantry 2+, plus, ignores cover torrent, strength 6, AP 1, damage 1, 12 inch range, D6 shots. Flesh Mower, it's lethal hits, 10 attacks, a strength 7, AP 1, damage 2, hits on 3s. Or the Probe, 3 attacks, hitting on 3s, strength 6, AP 1, damage 1. Deadly Demise 1. Nurgle's Gift, Hovering Death, it's eligible, eligible to shoot and declare a charge in a turn in which it fell back. 5-up Invuln, it has a Flesh Mower and a Plague Probe. You can replace its Flesh Mower with a Heavy Blight Launcher or two Plague Spitters. I would probably give it the two Plague Spitters, right? Hell yeah. Vehicle Fly, Chaos Nurgle, Demon. It's a Demon Engine. Plague Burst Crawler. Movement 10, it's only toughness 10, this thing should be toughness 12, it's got a 2-up save, 12 wounds, leadership 6, OC 4, so entropy cannon, lethal hits, 24 inch range, 1 shot, strength 10, AP 3, D6 plus 1 damage, hmm, heavy slugger, 36 inch range, 4 shots, BS3, everything's BS3, strength 5, AP 1, damage 1, the plague burst mortar, blast, indirect fire, lethal hits, 48 inch range d6 plus three shots at strength eight ap1 damage two plague spitter so anti infantry two up ignores cover and torrent 12 inch range d6 shots strength six ap1 damage one and then rot hail volley gun lethal hits rapid fire three 24 inch range three shots strength five ap0 damage one and then armored tracks three of them strength six deadly demise d3 nurgle's gift Spore-laced shockwaves in your shooting phase after this model is shot. 
one or more of those attacks made with its plague burst mortar, score to hit against an enemy infantry, take a battle shock test. God damn it. Uh, if you damage it, one to four wounds remaining, it's minus one to hit. It has a five up in vuln. It just comes with its stuff. So two entropy cannons, heavy slugger, and plague burst mortar in armored tracks. Its two entropy cannons can be replaced with plague spitters, which probably... Its heavy slugger can be replaced with a rot hail volley gun. It's a vehicle chaos Nurgle demon. Okay, so then you got your land raider. This moves 10, toughness 12, 2 up save, 16 wounds, leadership 6, OC 5. It's got combi weapons on it, Havoc Launcher, it's a blast weapon, 48 inches, D6 shots, strength 5, AP 0, damage 1, everything hits on 3s except for the combi weapon, which always is minus 1 to hit for some reason, it's always BS 4, or BS 1 less than normal. Plague Combi Bolter, we know what that is. Soul Shatter Lash Cannon, that is a two-shot Lash Cannon, so 48-inch range, two shots, strength 12, AP 3, and D6 plus 1 damage. And then Twin Plague Heavy Bolter, lethal hits, and sustained hits, and Twin Linked. It's not actually, it's actually not a bad weapon. 36-inch range, three shots, strength 5, AP 1, and damage 2, and then Armored Tracks, six attacks, strength 8, AP 0, damage 1, and combat hitting on fours as, like, literally all vehicles except Tau. Deadly Demise D6, or uh, Nurgle's Gift, and then Assault Ramp. If you disembark from it, you're eligible to charge. 1 to 5 wounds remaining, subtract 1 from the hit roll. It comes with 2 Lash Cannons, Heavy Bolter, and Armored Tracks. It can transport 12 dudes, excluding Cultists and Poxwalkers. Why excluding Cultists, though? Each Terminator takes up a space of 2 models. It can be equipped with either a Combi Weapon or a Combi Bolter. And it can be equipped with a Havoc Launcher, which you may as well just do. It's a Vehicle Chaos Nurgle Transport Smoke. Death Guard Predator Annihilator. Moves 10, toughens 10 with a 3-up save and 11 wounds. Leadership 6, OC of 4. It also has that combi weapon, Havoc Launcher, which is that D6 shots with Blast. 48 at range, strength 5, AP 0, 1 damage. It has LAS cannons all over the place. It's got a 48 inch range with 1 shot, strength 12, AP 3, damage D6 plus 1. Plague Combi Bolter, that we know. Plague Heavy Bolter, that we know, and then a Predator Twin Laz Cannon. So this is Twin Linked, 48 inch range with one shot, strength 14, AP 3, and damage D6 plus 1. They couldn't have made it like AP 4, or they couldn't have made it like damage D6 plus 3 or something. It's got armor tracks, 3 attacks, Deadly Demise, Nurgle's Gift, Annihilator, each time it targets a monster vehicle, reroll a damage roll of 1. If you get it down to 1 to 4 wounds, it's minus 1 to hit. It comes with a Laz Cannon and Armored Tracks. You always give it 2 Laz Cannons on the side. Maybe 2 Plague Heavy Bolters. That's not bad. 6 shots with lethal hits and sustained hits. So, it's okay. This model can be equipped with one of the following. Either a Combi Weapon or a Combi Bolter. And it can be equipped with that Havoc Launcher as well. Vehicle, Chaos, Nurgle, Smoke, Predator. Okay, you got your Destructor. So, Combi Weapon, Havoc Launcher, Laz Cannons, Combi Bolters, Heavy Bolters, and then your Auto Cannons. Really the difference here. It's Rapid Fire 2 at 48 inches. Uh, 4 shots naturally, so 6 shots at 24. Strength 9, AP 1, Damage 3, Armored Tracks like the other one. Deadly Demise D3, and Nurgle's Gift with Destructor each time. This model makes a ranged attack that targets infantry unit. Improve the armor penetration characteristic by 1. So it's actually strength 9 AP 2, which is better. And then 1 to 4 wounds, subtract 1 from hit. It comes with its auto cannons. It's got the option to take 2 lab cannons or 2 heavy bolters. It can then take a combi weapon or a, bol a combi bolter and a havoc launcher. It's vehicle chaos, Nurgle smoke. Defiler. It's going to defile your face. It's going to walk on in with its little crab legs and be like chomp, chomp, chomp. Moves 8, toughens 10, 3 up save, 14 wounds, leadership 6, OC 5. Combi Weapons, Defiler Cannon, this is a blast weapon, 48 inches, D6 plus 3 shots, hitting on 3s, Strength 10, AP 1, Damage 3, Havoc Launcher, Blast Weapon, it's the same thing we've seen before, Plague Combi Bolter, same thing we've seen before, uh, Reaper Auto Cannon, we saw this on the Terminators, Devastating Wounds and Sustained Hits 1, 36 inches, 4 shots, Strength 7, AP 1, Damage 1. Twin Heavy Flamer, it's a Twin Linked Heavy Flamer, Strength 5 AP 1 Torrent Weapon. Twin Laz Cannon, it's a Twin Linked Laz Cannon. And then your uh, Twin Plague Heavy Bolter, 
So that's going to be a twin linked heavy bolter. Okay. Defiler claws. These are your combat. Five attacks, hitting on threes. Strength 16, AP 3, and damage D6 plus 1. Defiler scourge. This is extra attacks. Three extra attacks, strength 12, AP 1, damage 2, hitting on threes. I don't like it. I like the regular defiler claws, though. Deadly Demise D3, Nurgle's Gift, and Scuttling Walker. It can move over friendly monsters and vehicles and terrain and, well, that are 4 inches or less as if they were not there. If it has 1 to 5 wounds remaining, it's minus 1 to hit. It has a 5 up invuln because it is a demon. It has its Defiler Cannon, a Reaper Auto Cannon, a Twin Heavy Flamer, and then Defiler Claws. Its Twin Heavy Flamer can be replaced with a Defiler Scourge or Havoc Launcher. Its Auto Cannon can be replaced with a Laz Cannon or a Heavy Bolter. And it can be equipped with a combi weapon or a combi heavy bolter. It is a vehicle walker, chaos, Nurgle demon. Smoke. It does have smoke. Then we have the rhino. The rhino moves 12. It's toughness 9. 3 up save. 10 wounds. Leadership 6. OC 2. It's a rhino. It's got a combi weapon. It's got a havoc launcher. It can have a combi bolter. Can probably take both. Uh, yeah, it's got armor tracks. No one cares. Deadly Demise D3 and Firing Deck 2, so two guys can shoot out of this thing. Nurgle's Gift and then Self Repair. At the start of your command phase, this model regains one lost wound, as all rhinos do. It's got a Plague Combi Bolter and Armored Tracks. It can transport 12 guys, but not Terminators, Cultists, or Poxwalkers. It can be then equipped with one Combi Weapon or a Combi Bolter and Havoc Launcher. It is a Vehicle Chaos Nurgle Transport Dedicated Transport Smoke. All right, then we got Mortarion. We like Mortarion. He's big, and he's stinky, and he's great. So what does he do? He moves 10. He's tough as 12. 2-up save and 16 wounds. So he's as tough as a knight, moves as fast as a knight. He's got a 2-up save, but he's got a better save than a knight. He's got a 4-up invuln. He has 16 wounds, leadership 5, and OC of 6. So he's got 6 wounds less than a knight, but he has feel no pain 5+, plus that I noticed over here. Uh, so that's pretty good. So... Let's consider that for a second. Feel no pain 5 plus. He takes, let's say, 15 wounds. He's going to make 5 feel no pains. So that puts him at 6 wounds extra. And then out of the 6 wounds, he'll make 2 more. So puts him at 8 wounds extra. So he's got more like 24 wounds. He's got Rot Wind, Blast, Devastating Wounds, Lethal Hits, and Psychic. So D6 shots at 18-inch 18, uh, 18 range. D6 plus 3 shots. Strength 7, AP 2, and Damage 1. It's pretty good. The Lantern is a pistol with sustained hits D3, 18-inch range with one shot hitting on twos, strength 9, AP 3, and damage 3. Everything he's got hits on twos. His melee is silence. It's got sweep or strike, lethal hits either way, five attacks with the strike, strength 14, AP 3, and damage 4, and then 15 attacks with the sweep, strength 7, AP 1, damage 1. He's kind of crap in combat. Like, he would need to hit and wound with everything to kill a knight, and they would need to fail all their saves. Yeah, not even. He wouldn't even kill a knight. Never mind. I take that back. He would not even kill a knight in combat. Miasma of Pestilence. So these are his auras and stuff. So he has Deadly Demise D6 and that Feel No Pain 5+. plus. So he is really hard to kill. He has Nurgle's Gift and then Host of Plagues. At the start of the battle round, select one of these abilities over here, which we'll get to. Um, and then while a friendly Death Guard unit was within 6 inches, it can ignore any or all modifiers characteristics. And eh, that got nerfed. So no one cares. All right, so Miasma of Pestilence. This is an aura that he can choose. While a friendly Death Guard unit is within 6, each time a ranged attack is made, models in that unit have the benefits of cover against that attack. So, he gives everything cover. It's pretty good, I guess. But everything can already get cover. So, I don't know. Next one is Diseased Influence. While a friendly Death Guard unit is within 6, each time that model makes an attack, uh, reroll a wound roll of 1. So that's for shooting and combat. And then Toxic Presence. While a friendly Death Guard unit is within 12 of this model, add 3 inches of the range of its Contagion. So you can get your Contagion up to 15 inches. That's pretty outrageous. Minus 1 Toughness and then other stuff. Um, Reroll Wounds of 1 is pretty good. But none of them are really crazy good. Uh, he doesn't seem super duper crazy good. If he has 1 to 6 wounds remaining, he's minus 1 to hit. He has no war gear options. He just comes with Rot Wind, Lantern, and Silence. He must be your Warlord if you take him. He's a Monster, Psyker, Fly, Character, Epic Hero, Demon, Grenade, Chaos, Nurgle, Primarch. 
God, so many keywords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven keywords on this fucking thing. Okay, Death Guard Icon Bear. I have no idea what this is. Moves five, toughness five, three up save with a four wound profile. Leadership five and OC one. Bolt gun, plague bolt gun, lethal hits, two shots, at 24 inches. Strength four, AP zero, one damage. Plague knife, lethal hits, four attacks, hitting on three. Strength four, AP zero, one damage. Lead stuff with Nurgle's Gift, unclean icon. While he's leading the unit, add one to the objective control of that unit. Once per battle, so see the disease. Once per battle, at the end of your movement phase, this model can use this ability if it does until the start of your next command phase. If this model's unit, is, this, this model's unit is treating as having a contagion rate of 12. He doesn't have scout or anything, so who cares? Uh, he's got no war gear options. He's just got his stupid plague bolt things and his plague knife. He can be attached to plague marines and can be attached even if other stuff's attached, as long as not one of him is attached. He's infantry character Chaos Nurgle with grenades. At least he has grenades. That's the only redeeming quality, and even then, he is a pile of shit, just like everything Nurgle eats and shits out. Next, you have your Miasmic Malignifier. This is your fortification, and I believe this is the last unit. It's toughness 10, 3 up save, 12 wounds, leadership 6, OC 0. It has noxious stink. <laughs> yeah, it does. Ignores cover and torrent, 6 inch range, 2d6 shots, strength 3, AP 0, damage 1, deadly demise d3, and infiltrators, Nurgle's aura. Okay, so this thing can infiltrate and give out the Nurgle's gift aura. Um, putrescent fog aura. While a friendly death guard unit is wholly within 6, each time an attack targets that unit, subtract one from the hit roll. And that's for shooting and combat. Diseased cover each time a ranged attack is allocated to this model if that model is not fully visible to every model and this gives cover. It gives cover to stuff just like terrain would and if you're within combat of it you can shoot stuff and you don't take desperate escapes from falling back if you're battle shocked. So that's that's how it works in combat. It has a noxious stink. It's a yeah it's just a fortification with no war gear. It just has abilities and that's what it is. It's a fortification, chaos, Nurgle, and that's it. We fucking did it. That does it. That does it for the big stinkies. If you held your breath this long, uh, very good. Good job. Good job. Very good job. But if you just stayed until the end and you didn't do that, thank you so much. Thank you if you did as well. Now... Tell me what you thought about these guys. I didn't think that they were anything too, too special, but this is kind of my initial impression of them. Um, knowing that they have the the buff, that is something to consider. That they can give you, you know, the, the minus one to your armor save, the minus one to your weapon skill, ballistic skill, uh, minus one MC, all that stuff, plus the minus one toughness if they're close to you. Um, I can see them being pretty good, actually. So... Off the bat, no units really stood out to me, but I think that their army overall is actually pretty good. So, what did you guys think? Uh, tell me about the big stinkies in the comments down below. Be sure to infect the like button and subscribe to Theory Hammer. Hit Nurgle's bells so that you never miss one of Nurgle's gifts. <laughs> yeah! And check out our other videos as well. We have unit breakdowns, index reviews, you know, tacticas, battle reports. We release new content pretty regularly as well, so we got new stuff coming. If you like that kind of stuff, then you're in the right place. You guys fucking rock, and I will smell you in the next one.